Welcome to Learn Piano in 8 Bars in Short Lessons. Let's get started straight away with the basics. Each finger of each hand is given a number. The thumbs are 1 and then fingers 2, 3, 4 and 5. Notice it's the same pattern for each hand. Place your hands together and imagine that you're rounding your fingers as if you're cupping an orange so you get a lovely bridge arch shape in each hand. Put your hands together, keeping the arch, and tap your thumbs together. One, 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 then second finger, two, 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 then middle finger, three, 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 then your fourth finger, four, 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 and finally the fifth finger, five, five, five. And then one finger after the other, one, two, three, four, five, and backwards, five, four, three, two, one. You'll notice that finger four is a bit tricky, but over time and with daily practice, you'll soon develop good independence. Now place both hands anywhere on the keyboard with the tip of each finger touching a white key and keep your fingers in that lovely arch, that lovely bridge shape. If you look at the keyboard, you will see that the keyboard has black keys grouped in pairs and threes. With fingers two and three on your right hand, play the two black notes going up your keyboard to the right and you can hear the pitch gets higher and higher and then back down again. Now find the pair of black keys that are in the centre of your instrument. Notice that fingers two and three rest comfortably on the top and your thumb rests neatly on the white key immediately to the left. You've just found middle C, congratulations. That's the C closest to the center of your keyboard. We'll talk about the other note names later. Now, music is written on the stave or staff, the five lines. The curly figure is called the treble or the G-clef and this usually shows which notes your right hand plays. For the time being we're going to add a little line underneath the stave for middle C. Don't worry about the rest yet, we'll look at those later. Just recognise middle C on the treble clef and how it's written. Next to the clef you can see two numbers. These numbers indicate the time, the pulse of the music. The top number tells us how many beats are in each bar, in this case four beats. So that will be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The lower number tells us we are counting in crotchets. More about that later, but each note you see is a crotchet worth one beat. We will play at a walking pace, so not too fast. With your right hand thumb, we can play each crotchet evenly. Play along after a count of four. Ready? One, two, three, four. Now we've learnt the right hand middle C, let's change to the left. The curly figure at the start of the stave is the bass clef or the F clef. Notice that middle C is written above the stave this time. And notice we have the same time signature, four crotchet beats in a bar. With your left hand thumb on middle C, Place each fingertip on the notes below. Play middle C just like you did for the right hand. And now let's play along evenly with the music. Ready? After a count of four. One, two, three, four.
Again, pause and rewind. Practice until you can play evenly. Let's put both hands together and practice coordinating between the two. We'll play eight middle C's starting with the right hand thumb, then switch to the left, keeping in time. And then in fours, and then twos, and then alternating left and right to the end. After a count of four, one, two, three, four. Right. Change to left. Back to right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Go back over the video and check your understanding. For the next video, we'll add two new notes. Please click like and subscribe so that you can access all the videos in this series and new videos as they are uploaded. See you in the next video. Happy playing!